sorry. I'm getting ready, getting ready. Oh, what a day it's gonna be. Got to fill up, gotta get going. I need the energy, the winning energy. I need my Milo today. Just what I need to last the day. Milo a day. Oh, Milo makes my day. Milo a day. Milo winning every day. challenge Milo in my team we work together to get me closer in reaching for my dream I'm getting ready getting ready I've got hi uh, good evening magandang gabi mga kaibigan maraming salamat for uh joining us uh, despite it's a pr friday but it, since it's a pandemic we're living in a pandemic lifestyle <laughs> so i think uh, friday is not any more different than any other day of the week no but still maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for uh, joining us in this uh, uh, virtual press launch ng ating uh, milestone project together with uh, oh, milo and before we start the our discussion, it's a light discussion, uh, powwow about this uh, uh, great project. Uh, I'd like to request our uh, Patafa President, Dr. Philip Wico, to give us uh, uh, our the opening remarks uh, for this event, sir. Sir Philip. Uh, parang uh, naka-online siya pero wala siyang... No, video na po. Yes, sir. Yun. Okay. No, pinatay ko. Nakapatay na yun eh. Ay, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, you want me yes, to sir. Uh, Your uh, message for everybody here. Okay. okay. Uh, welcome to the... NACAG, the mm. Milo National Kids Athletics Games. It is really a uh, measure of uh, our Filipino uh, ingenuity and creativity and imagination in coming up, producing programs such as this. Uh, this is a tribute to uh, the teamwork within Patafa that allowed uh, Edward to uh, put this together and it is a tribute to Milo's uh, interest in our in uh, youth development as part of our overall national development to sponsor and support uh, with kids athletics among other things that uh, Milo is uh, helping Patafa and Philippine sports. This is a very crucial program, especially now. Um, we have the pandemic and children, many children, I notice it in my own grandchild who gets very restless, having no playmates here. So she ends up playing with me, literally. Um, and she's a granddaughter. So her games are for girls. And I end up with my hair having clips uh, as if she were the hairdresser uh, and I end up with my nails being painted with uh, uh, without my knowledge. Uh, uh, I'm asleep or I'm reading. So they, you notice the restlessness. So every opportunity she has to go out, of course, in a safe way, <clears throat> we provide it. But it is all calibrated because you cannot just go out uh, if you go out and you come in here without the necessary safeguards, there are older people who, are, who have many underlying conditions like me who could be affected. So this is very important. It removes the stress. These kids' athletics programs, all of these kids who've been cooped up somehow 
in their respective homes, except those who the liberty do not follow the regulation. Uh, but I don't think we have them here in our, in our midst. And as stated by Edward in the write-up, movement to a child is like fish, water to fish. You cannot have a child who does not move around. Uh, if you stop them from moving around, they become abnormal. And it's, I know that because when I was a young boy, they said I was a kitty kitty. It's very difficult, very restless. And so we, we see the great sense of this, aside from the fact that it forms part it is the core of our national development program, starting from the grassroots, kids who come from the grassroots school, including this program and our school tours program and other programs that we have addressed to the, to the grassroots. And everyone must note that there are several waves to this. It starts with the awareness, the theory, uh, which features eight, of our national athletes, uh, Natalie Puy, Christina Knott, Willie Morrison, Melvin Calano, uh, Christina Aliasdo, Sara De Quina, uh, Clinton Bautista, and uh, did I miss anyone? Aris, Aris. Hi, Aris Toledo. Okay, our, uh, our captain guy from WC. I'm sorry, Aris, but your video will be shown. So. We're very happy about this. Uh, it's a breakthrough. It's uh, for us, it's an opportunity to also get Milo to promote its brand, to create brand awareness during a pandemic when there is very little or almost no uh, noteworthy legitimate sports activity that you can use to launch or to make known your product. So we see here a win-win situation national development, uh, commercial development, and of course, our youth development. So uh, I thank you for this opportunity and we look forward to uh, uh, interacting with our stakeholders, including the media, and we look forward to whatever queries you may have. Thank you and good evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much uh, <laughs> for uh, that. Uh, 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 explanation of uh, a sort of like a, a, a uh, preview of uh, what the project is all about. And to give the side of Milo, because this is the first time that we are really tandeming, eh? doing this project in tandem. Because we've been working with Milo before, like for the national government, but uh, as a sponsor, they are on the side. But now we are really merging together our both resources because we are re we really believe in this project. So. Uh, to give um, Milo's side why, why they're able to get interested with the project, I'd like to present the uh, Assistant Vice President uh, uh, for Nestle Philippines, for Milo, Mr. Lester Castillo. Sir, take it away. Hello. Hi, uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Edward. Uh, of course, uh, Sir Philip, uh, again, thank you for the kind words and uh, the rest of the Pataka team. And... Um, uh, I see a lot of uh, uh, familiar uh, names uh, with our uh, media friends. Um, so yeah, sabi nga po ni uh, Sir Edward Kinina at ni Sir Philip, um, Milo and uh, Patafa uh, remain as uh, indispensable allies in promoting sports as a means for nation building. Um, of course, yung isa sa mga pinaka-popular na partnership natin with them is the, the National uh, Milo Marathon. So through the years, uh, both Milo and uh, Patafa uh, have worked in synergy to accelerate the sport of running through grassroots sports program. And uh, we have, uh, together with them, we were able to provide athletes opportunities to be recognized in international stages. Siguro, just to mention a few, of course, um, we're very familiar with uh, Mary Joy Tabal, uh, hailing from uh, Cebu, uh, a six-time national uh, Milo Marathon queen um, and of course, we also have uh, si Miss Christine Haliasgo uh, also making uh, waves in the running scene. So to the point of uh, Sir Philip kanina, alam nyo po, ibang-ibang sitwasyon talaga ngayon. Um, amidst the limitation 
that the current situation has uh, brought to the sporting world, it is still vital that uh, we move forward with our commitment in empowering our athletes to pursue their dreams. And syempre yung kids, gusto natin um, ma-inspire sila to continue their champion journeys at home. Uh, so this time, um, napakaganda po nung programa nitong National Kids Athletics Games Online. Um, by leveraging on technology, kasi ito po talaga yung um, uh, pivot na ginawa natin ngayon, we are able to drive our pursuit in enabling kids to remain active and healthy while staying safe indoors. So this partnership with the Patafa, nag-expand po yan to launch ito pong Milo National Kids Athletic Games Online. It is designed to supplement resource in teaching non-contact PE instructions to school children. And uh, of course, it also aims to inspire kids yung tinatawag natin na return to play uh, in order to remain physically active even while at home. Um, so I won't preempt the program. Uh, napakaganda po nitong um, uh, partnership na ito. And we're very excited and we're very glad that uh, the Patafa gave us the opportunity to be part of this. Uh, so that's it. Maraming salamat, Sir Edward and Sir Philip. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, uh, Lester, for uh, uh, providing us some uh, barang, uh, uh, insight on how Milo decided to be part of this project. And to further give you, kasi alam namin, kay mga kaibigan namin sa, sa Sports Writers Association, hindi nyo kayo ganong familiar sa mga grassroots project ng Patafa, especially Kids Athletics, the Kids Athletics Program, to give us sort of like a, 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 a uh, quick uh, rundown and chroni chronicle of what uh, and how Kids Athletics came about. I'd like to uh, invite <coughs> Ms. Janet Obiana. He's our uh, project director for Kids Athletics uh, Philippines. Uh, Janet, please uh, do the honors yeah. of... Uh, uh, enlightening or explaining to our <laughs> friends how Kids Athletics came about. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, good evening and thank you, Edward. Good evening, Sir Philip. Good, good evening, evening. Uh, Sir Lester and all the Patafa officers who are here and all the press that are with us. Uh, just to give you a preview of how the Kids Athletics start. Kids Athletics started uh, year 2008 uh, after I have gone to the Jakarta for the kids athletics uh, instructors course. So I have it there. After nang ma-present sa akin yun doon, uh, nagkaroon kasi ako ng interest talaga because it's really for the kids. And at the same time, uh, before I am in the field of uh, athletics, I'm a, a grade school teacher. So malapit talaga sa akin yung mga bata. And I see it na talagang nag -e enjoy sila. And at the same time, naituturo natin sa kanila yung tamang movement na kailangan nila talaga. So it started there at 2008 wherein I started it with the small schools wherein I'm teaching. And then also may mga ibang uh, coaches na nag uh, approach para mag-try sila. So, nag-start din sa kanilang mga area. Hindi lang ganun ka kilala pa, syempre, kasi una-una bago siya. And then, yung funding at the same time, hindi ganun ka kabilis ba para makabigay ng, ng interest. So, it goes on hanggang sa na um, nag-ano kami with nakikihingi ng a little budget with the weekly relays just to put it in the event of the weekly relays. So meron doon hanggang sa nagkaroon kami ng funding through the IAAF wherein to promote the uh, Kids Athletics Project. Doon kami nag-start uh, which is nagpunta kami sa iba't ibang LGUs ng Pilipinas. So uh, meron kaming Isabela, meron kaming General Santos, meron kaming... Uh, kag uh, sa Pangasinan tapos uh, that is for uh, almost a year so halos 12 or 13 yung areas na puntahan namin on that time so na spread namin ng kids athletics there and in every area na pinupuntahan namin always ang hinihingi sa amin ng mga bata ay sana pwede po bang ma magawa ulit siya sa kanilang area at kung pe pwede raw na magtuloy-tuloy so we always tell to the instructors na uma-attend sa amin na uh, kaya naman ninyong gawin at a gawin sa area ninyo. It's just that you need to inform kung mayroon po kayong kailangan at mayroon pa pong hindi na iintindihan. Inform nyo lang po kami at igagay namin kayo. 
yun ang binigay namin sa kanila. Until na dumating po yung year 2016, wherein we have the Athletics Olympic Dividend from the IWF, uh, dun po kinupkop kami ulit nila. So naging part po kami ng AOD, which is until now, part pa rin po kami ng AOD at na-spread po namin yung Kids Athletics. Kaya lalong lumawak po yung napuntahan naming area mula po uh, Batanes hanggang sa Mindanao area hanggang Kidapawan na abot po namin yun sa pag uh, ano po namin ng Kids Athletics kasi ang isang ano namin is to spread Kids Athletics kasi naniniwala po kaming napakarami po nating talent dito sa atin. It's just that kailangan lang po ng tamang panimula at tama pong kilos or tamang galaw para po meron tayong magandang atleta sa darating na panahon. So yun po yung ating uh, a brief history how it started. Yun. Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Janet. So that's how Kids Athletics came about. But uh, as you would, you, we all know, di ba, nagkaroon ng pandemic. So um, originally, ang plan namin talaga before the pandemic, eh magkakaroon talaga na kami ng National Kids Athletics Games. As in, kasi marami nang uh, adapt, nag-adapt eh. Marami ng lugar sa Philippines. At marami ng mga groups of kids who know the kids athletics activities. So ang plano namin, on their own areas, kakaroon parang uh, provincial or area qualifications. Tapos on all the regions, magkikita-kita sa Manila. So yun ang parang National Kids Athletics Games. Ang Kids Athletics kasi is uh, comprised by different... Uh, Uh, parang scale down version ng athletics events pero simultaneous kaya maganda tingnan kasi sa buong track oval sa field sa track oval may nangyayari simultaneous tapos yung lahat ng entries ng team uh, umiikot gumaga maganda tingnan so that's how we really envisioned it but then pandemic came so medyo na heartbroken kami for a while lang mga para mga mga for about two seconds <laughs> got heartbroken but we We gathered ourselves up and then we thought of some how we could sort of like migrate uh, from face to face to the online because we realized na based on what the server Philip mentioned na diminish yung activity ng mga bata eh kasi nakulong sila eh bawat sila lumabas and then bukod doon nawalan sila ng contact sa kapwa bata so malaki ang naging impact nitong pandemic sa kanila so we thought of this uh, parang migrating this kids athletics games uh, sa online platform in uh, for to augment what uh, what's what what's what's being uh, parang uh, not being provided to our young uh, uh, young athletes okay or prospective young athletes so uh, ito ang kaya naisip namin and then para magkaroon naman ng parang may entice or may excite naman yung ating mga bata uh, because uh, we all know then the very familiar recent lang ang 2019 SEA Games So, putok na putok ng mga achievements sa mga athlete natin. And we are proud to say that we are uh, the NSA, uh, Olympic NSA, na may pinakamaraming uh, medals, gold medals. Ang yabang ko. <laughs> Sorry, ha? Kasi we need to brag. <laughs> so, so, and then we have to, uh, to, parang to, to drumbeat on that. And fortunately, uh, we have uh, this winning athletes that we had in that team, national team, eh, they gamely said, yes, go, 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 join kami. Because we need to have like a, the face of the event. Eh. And uh, not necessarily to, to, uh, to dazzle the kids, but to uh, communicate to the kids that what they have achieved, okay, what they have achieved this year, this uh, national athletes, these uh, superstars, uh, SEA Games, gold medalists, they could also achieve this year, the young kids. So in this case, parang yung kung ano yung pwedeng gawin ng mga bata, they demonstrated in a one um, uh, five minute video. Five minute video, I think, yeah. Five minute video. So ang bali itong National Kids Athletics, yung two phase siya. Ang first phase is, of course, the first phase is uh, comprised by uh, two waves. The first wave nga yung uh, awareness uh, publicity, uh, wherein we uh, uploaded and published the, the online video para mapanood ng mga bata, makita nila o ma-master nila. And the second phase is the contest. So the, the, the two phases uh, is the first phase of this National Kids Athletic Games is the uh, exercise challenge contest. Para siyang TikTok. Okay? Pero exercise muna. It's a conditioning exercise. It's in a way to prime up the kids 
to get ready for the next phase. The next phase is the actual kids' athletics activities. Kasi ayaw namin, naisip na ayaw namin kagad silang bulagain na gumawa ng kids' athletics activities. Especially now that we are still in the in a semi-lockdown, eh, sa kids' athletics activities, kailangan ng mga kahit improvised uh, implements and tools. Hindi pa pwede, hindi. Kasi kahit magkaroon sila ng improvised tools, hindi naman nila magagamit sa labas. So while we're waiting for that time for them to get out, we are uh, we have prepared a, an activity for them to prime up their bodies, okay? So that by the time that we go to the to phase two, they're already kumbaga condition na. Kumbaga sa mga national athletes, before they proceed to the high level performance training, they have uh, they have undergone conditioning training. So yun ang yun ang uh, ang uh, ang uh, uh, rationale behind that. So to to show you this uh, the, a snippet of the video the demonstration video exercise that we have uh, published uh, I'll show it to you now and then after that we'll have an open forum so you could uh, 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 clarify further on uh, what this uh, national kids at kaya national kasi because we're using the online platform so everyone uh, any kid uh, any child in the Philippines not necessarily Filipino citizens pwedeng uh, filam o pwedeng uh, anak ng, uh, how do you call that? The, uh, a, a foreigner working in the Philippines? How do you, what's the term for that? I forgot the term. Expat. Expat, expat. expat. okay. Oh, anak ng mga expat, pwede. Pwede sumali. Bas, basta nasa Philippine territory, kaya national. So from Batanes to the, the southernmost uh, province, Polo or uh, uh, tawi-tawi, pwedeng sumali using the online technology. So, I'll show you the uh, the vi short video so that you will have an idea what the kids would have to do. Okay? I'll share it now. Eka. Alam mo, medyo na, na ano na, na pupuro lang yung aking... Ayan. There you go. Here it is. So that's about it. So yun ang uh, snippets of the video. But of course, the actual video, uh, it's a sequence of exercise that uh, they could uh, play and stop so that they'd be able to see how it's being done. Pero uh, that's essentially the, all the ex eight exercises na kukopyahin ng mga bata and would do in one uh, exercise session and they would send the video to us. So... Open forum na tayo kung may gusto po kayong uh, i-clarify uh, on uh, 
how this uh, project further uh, came about and uh, how what would be uh, parang the prizes or what would be in store for the winners how will we be able to select the winners ano, mga, anyone could ask a question Yes, uh, Mike. Lord. Good evening. Uh, good evening, sir Popoy. Hi, good evening. Uh, how old are... Uh, did you have an age limit on uh, the participants and how do they apply? Si, si Ma'am Janet, makakasagot ng age limit. Ako magkasabi kung paano mag apply <laughs> Janet. Mute. Sorry, for the kids, it's 12 and under, and then we have also for the 15, uh, 13 to 15, that's the two categories for the kids' athletics. Actually, Janet, tatlo, 15 and under, 12 and under, and 10 and under. 10 and under, yeah. Oh. Oh. Or under 10, under 10, under 12, under 12. Yeah. And how, how do they join? The, do they have to uh, send you a video or publication or may qualification bar or... Thank you, Mark, for asking yes. that wonderful question. Thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> anyway, uh, th this whole project is also, uh, it capitalizes on what uh, DepEd is doing now. Yung parang uh, kailangan ang nagsusupervise o halos nagtuturo sa mga anak yung mga magulang. Same thing with this. Kasi since underage yung mga bata, nice. kailangan may supervision ng mga magulang o yeah. ng nilang mga guardian. So, for them to join, they would have to register sa Patafa website. Okay? They have to register their name, the parent, or the legal guardian, and uh, up upload any uh, valid ID. And then also, they have to put in the name of the child, their child, who's going to join, and a valid an ID bearing the age, uh, the birth date of the kid. Kasi we, we have to find out kung saan magpapasok ng age category yung mga bata eh. So I think uh, yung school ID naman nila may mga birth date naman yata ng mga bata so we would be able to categorize. So and then after that uh, a confirmatory email would be uh, should uh, will be sent to them to give them the uh, the instruction on how they'll they'll be able to send the video. Actually they'll be able to send the video through Google Classroom. So gagamitin namin yung platform ng ng ginagamit ng DepEd Google Classroom. Dela ipapadala yung kanilang uh, uh, video because they can don't with Google Classroom isang beses ka lang pwede magpadala ng video hindi ka pwede magpadala kasi and only those who are, who are registered okay or uh, bona fide registered participant or uh, in the class list would be able to send the video so not anyone could uh, could send the video kasi they wouldn't be able to know the link to the Google Classroom so, kaya ganun ka uh, na-utilize na namin yung uh, uh, the uh, the uh, online platform. Ang ganda, maganda yung ating online platform. Kaya, kaya hindi kami gano'n din nalulungkot na nawalan ng face-to-face uh, -face, uh, experience dahil napalatan ng online platform. Mas lumawak yung reach. Of course, nawalan yung physical or tactile experience. But this is uh, better than, uh, than not having really any activity. So yun ang... Uh, kaya kami mismo na e excited kami because uh, even before this launch, mga siguro, mga more than 50, we have received 50 messages asking us how to join and how they'll be able to send their video. Yeah. And ang maganda dyan, yung mag-video mag mag yung magulang. So may, may, risk, may, ano talaga, may guidance. Kasi they'll be able to tell your, their, their son or their daughter, oh, be careful. Hindi, hindi basta, unless may, may talagang technological savvy yung mga bata, they will shoot their own. But uh, the idea there is for, for the parent to supervise their participation. Uh, Sir Lester, you want to add uh, anything? Yes, siguro I just want to echo the the role of the parents uh, ngayon sa mga bata. In fact, even sa, sa DepEd, yung nabanggit ni uh, Sir Edward kanina, ito yung parang tinatawag natin na self-learning modules. So these are modules na hopefully magabayan din yung bata uh, sa tulong ng mga magulang para magkaroon ng, ng proper learning so we're very excited uh, with this program kasi um, huminto man yung, ano, um, yung uh, capability na gumawa ng mga on-ground activities such as this one, hindi nagpahinto ang patafa para hindi gumawa ng ganitong programa na relevant pa rin with the situation. 
Um, so yeah, uh, we're very happy with this program. Thank you, Sir Le. Sir, uh, Sir Philip, I think uh, you, you, you want to reiterate ito kasi may natanggap akong uh, na yung uh, pinoward mong Viber message on how uh, parents could uh, be a, a, a uh, an effective uh, motivator to their kids where in their in the, in the child's pursuit of uh, sports uh, participation. Maganda yung pinadala yeah. niyo, Sir Popoy. Well, uh, you know, one of my experiences when I was at PSC from 1995 to 1998, I spent more time talking to parents than to the athletes. And um, that's a double-edged sword, no? Uh, some parents tend to overmanage their children uh, to the point that they are managed like professional athletes and every little thing has to be spelled out. The other side is uh, when, uh, and they, they, and they uh, meddle even in everything. You, know, you see some parents quarreling with referees during the games. No? Okay. And then the other side is a, a parent who just manages the child and motivates the person. And that is the main point behind the, uh, the uh, information that I sent to to Edward that parents play a key role because they are role models. And from a practical point of view, as a practicing manager, we welcome parents because it increases attendance. When kids travel, compete, their parents and guardians have to be with them. And they need to be with them because they're at that age where they need guidance. Below 10, below 12, below 15, May ano yan, mayroong certificate yan from DSWD if you take a plane, ride a plane, or whatever. So, importante talaga the role of the parents. In fact, in the absence of the parent, the teacher, di ba sabi nga nila, in loco parentis, in place of the school, in place of the home, rather, in place of parents. The school is like a surrogate parent. Kami naman sa PAFA, we view our athletes as our children, as our sons and daughters, and we as parents. And we want to help motivate them to know what's going on in their lives, to help them with their aspirations. They wanted to be here uh, in this particular case. At a young age, we tell them, you compete because you want to have fun. You want to have fun. Winning is there, but we keep on saying, have fun and win if you can. So parang winning is just a secondary thing up to the age of 15 because we don't want them to have this attitude of win-win or, 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 uh, uh, or what, uh, one over the other situation. I have to beat you to be, to be something. No, we, we want people to work together. We want people to compete in harmony. At the same time, without rem rem removing their competitive edge and their... Uh, skill no so that's that's the balance that we want to promote here we want children to have fun to exercise as much as they can to use as much energy and milo as they can to, to have that energy uh, kidding aside so we are here for that so uh, we are here to motivate we are here to give them the the techniques to our athletes so that they do it well and they do it right Thank you, sir. Uh, Ma'am Janet, uh, would you like to share quickly how you're able to, based on your experience, how the kids responded to the kids' athletics activity to give us a, also an idea how this project would be really received by uh, our target uh, uh, audience? Well, uh, you are there also, Edward, when we are at the area we're in with the AOD. Uh, all the kids that we have started, uh, parang sample game lang nga when we show it to them. Uh, the first thing is they see the equipment that they want. Uh, kahit paminsan ang equipment is just only uh, yung improvised equipment. But so once they tried it already, ang ano ng bata, laging ang tanong, kailan pa pwedeng ulitin? Pwede bang makaulit? 
yun yung way ng pag ano nila, lalo-lalo na yung mga bata at masayang-masaya sila. Actually, nas, na-start din namin to kahit po mga instructors na nag attend ng Kids Athletics Instructor uh, na na-try ito, ang tanong nga nila, pwede ba namin tong gamitin din sa Foundation Day for our teachers? So, ang, ang reply ko sa kanila, well, okay naman siyang magamit and it would be fun and they they would also enjoy may mga schools pong ginagamit na rin siya for their activity at yung mga teachers hindi lang po bata ultimo yung mga teachers nag-enjoy po for this uh, the kids athletics event masayang masaya po sila uh, marami po ang formula 1 ang cross hop ang 8 minutes endurance uh, which is parang marathon yan for the kids doon sa Kids Athletics. Makikita nyo po kung gano'n sila kasaya kahit po pagod na pagod sila pagkatapos. Ang tanong pa nga nila is, pwede ba next week ulit? Eh, kaso pagka natapos po kami, nilipat na po kasi kami na ibang lugar. So ang ano lang namin sa kanila, uh, may instructors na kayo dyan, So sila yung magpapatuloy para sa inyo. And then, ito nga po na nalaman nilang may ganitong uh, virtual game tayo. Marami pong nagtatanong kung paano sila sasali at kung pe pwede silang sumali. Well, we give them already the information that they need para po maka-join sila sa atin. Yun po. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Janet. And also to add to that, uh, based on our experience, nakita nga namin yung mga bata, naging bata rin naman tayo, di ba? So yung mga bata, kasi... Uh, gaya-gaya yung mga yan eh. Pag nakita na may mga ibang batang gumagawa, they would be encouraged and motivated to do the same thing. So we, in capitalizing that, that's what we're going to do online uh, based on the, the uh, submitted number of videos. We will come up with the collage like what we did, a tile type, and then upload it in our uh, social media platform, Facebook, YouTube, and also with the uh, YouTube channel of Milo as well. My uh, sina Sir Lester uh, promised us that they would uh, also help us out, really magnify this whole thing. Para makita ng mga ibang bata na may uh, virtual interaction. Kaya hindi naman nila nakikita. Pag nakita nila sabay-sabay yung mga bata, uy, gusto ko rin mampasali doon. Ah. So that's how we would want to uh, create a wildfire in this uh, uh, exciting activity for the kids. So habang hindi pa talaga uh, pwedeng lumabas, sabi nga ni Kim Chu, <laughs> <laughs> lumabas yung mga bata, they could still uh, do the active. Tumatawa si... <laughs> uh, they could still interact with uh, their fellow kids and uh, perhaps that could be in, 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 in a surrogate way. Surrogate way. Uh, they'll be able to enjoy their mo- their time, their inst- they're inside the house because they get to interact with kids from different parts of the country. So yan ang plano ng Sa paad lang ako dyan, Ed. Uh, ang isa pang ano dyan, kapag kasi yung kids, lalo na sa generation ngayon, uh, gustong-gusto nila na parami silang nakaka-interact. And at the same time, gustong-gusto nilang dumadami yung follower nila sa kanilang oh. mga social media. Masayang-masaya sila pag nadadagdagan yun, lalo na pag maraming sumusunod at nagiging follower sila. So, I, ang ano ko dito, marami talagang ano sa kanila. Excellent. This is one way really for them. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, Bong. Uh, yeah. Come on down. Come on down. We are next. Uh, uh, good evening, Bong. sir. Sir Popoy, sir Lester. Good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Uh, okay. Saan makikita, uh, where can we see all of these demonstration videos by our national athletes? First question. Uh, I, I think I, I could answer that for Sir oh, Popoy. Sa, nasa YouTube, YouTube channel namin. And also, yes, oh, tas na, naka-link din siya sa... And also, I think uh, Sir Lester naka, nas, naka-upload na ba sa, sa channel yung sa page nyo yung uh, video? Yeah, it will be part of the YouTube, uh, the Milo YouTube channel as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And so, also, so multiple, multiple platforms po pala. Yes. So oh. when, when, when are we going to launch this, this formally? Uh, starting Monday, tanggap na kami ng uh, registrations. Hmm. And then uh, the first set of winners would be on Friday next week. So okay. Mar- uh, so parang lumalabas ito na parang ano, circuit training. How many? Yes, exactly. Circuit okay. training siya. Circuit <laughs> Kasi training. conditioning eh. Conditioning. Oh, okay. uh, so, eh. so the most number of in one circuit for a, how many how many uh, categories of course how many three age groups 
Yes. So how many places yung mga winners po natin? Isang, uh, isang winner na? lang per age category. Ta- walang distinction ng gender. Kasi sa oh, age athletic, What I mean is first place, second place, third place? Walang ganun. Oh, parang winner take all. Okay. Ah, overall? Uh, yes, oh, lagi. And then overall. walang distinction kung girl or boy. Kasi sa kids athletics, based sa explanation sa akin ni Ma'am Janet, wala pa talagang uh, discrepancy sa physical uh, capacity ang babae at lalaki hanggang hindi pa sila tumatapak talaga ng kanilang uh, puberty age. So kaya pwedeng paglabanin ng batang lalaki pa at ang babae. So kaya ito, maganda rin itong uh, tingnan eh. So who will figure as the weekly champion? So bali, uh, per age category, magkakaroon ng isang winner per week. So tatlong winners yung bali. And then uh, we, uh, this, uh, this project will run for three, uh, 12 weeks. So bali, magkakaroon ng 12 sets of winners per age category. And then on February, uh, mid, mid-February uh, in 2021, doon magkakaroon ng finals. Then they will go head-to-head live sa Zoom. Ha? So yun maganda. Ah, okay. <laughs> so all of the 12 winners in each category will have a simultaneous demonstration? Yes. yes. Parang, hit, parang hit by hit siya. Parang uh, 100 meters. Yung 12 naman, hindi kasi mahirapan ng mga judges to watch and to count eh, simultaneously. So siguro most likely four participants, four uh, finalists per hit and three hits para makita namin kung sino mabilang namin yung uh, uh, performance nila. And ang b- 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 good thing that you mentioned, Bong, it's a circuit training. So walang exercises. So each exercise will have to be done in as many uh, repetitions within 20 seconds. Okay? So in about exercise, 20 seconds lang. Tapos yung, uh, yung younger age categories na under 12 and under 10, mas mahaba yung rest interval nila, 30 seconds. So after one exercise, 30 seconds rest, uh, rest interval, and then proceed to the next exercise, 20 seconds again. So Pero this, an- ano time limit nila overall to complete this circuit? Uh, basically, parang nasa 5 and a half minutes. Kasi pag pinag-combine mo yung 20, 30, 20, 30, I think I counted it around five and a half. So, but sa and, under 15, mas maikli yung rest period. 20 seconds lang. Yun. Sir Kasi Lester? Have, yes, sir. Uh, sir Lester, I mean, besides certificates, of course, uh, ano yung mga incentives ng ating mga weekly winners from Milo? Weekly yeah, sorry, winners so, muna, sir. Yeah, meron tayong, ano, uh, meron kami tinatawag na parang it's a Milo kit. So, siyempre, meron siyang um, uh, it's a, parang a sports drawstring bag uh, together with the sports bottle, uh, ceramic mug. And of course, siyempre, hindi pwedeng mawala yung Milo product. Um, and kung tama pa kayintindi ko itong winners sa to, ipapadala to right at their doorstep. Yes. Para at least ah, maano so sila. So, door-to-door delivery. Door-to-door delivery. And that's, that is why this is also nationwide. Yes. This, kung baga, from Apari to Hulo. Yes. Pwede sumali. And then also, uh, we'll be giving out uh, a 1,000 peso cash prize per week for the weekly winner. And then for the <laughs> finalists... For all three categories? Yes. Uh, for, the finali- for the grand champions, uh, finals, uh, 10,000 pesos per we- uh, uh, je- uh, age category winner. Champion. Uh, uh, let me just... Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, 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 I think uh, Ed eventually will mention this. That was really for the parents for the parents who will be mentoring because uh, we also want children to have fun. We don't want them to be pressured by, by having to win something. So it's for the parents for the time, the trouble, the guidance they gave, and, and being pulled by my granddaughter. Uh, Then so, your first see, participant. <laughs> ito yung stress. Ito yung stress na sinasabi. Okay. Sir, si Iya, tas Ali yata, pwede siyang sumali sa under 10. You want okay. to join? Uh, You want to join the uh, first participant, sir. Yeah. 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 So, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank so, you, yeah, thank you. Is, basically, the, the cash prize is intended to sort of like a, uh, for that token for the parents, not really for the young participants to get immersed to the idea of money. <laughs> more, more of like a token. Yeah, yeah. keep yeah. lang yun, 1,000 lang. Yeah, let's come to eight. Okay. Thank you for, thank you. Yes, Ria, I think you have a question. Yeah, tapos ko lang Give me five minutes. Hi, good evening. Yes. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Ria. Yeah. And ma'am. Um, kanina pinakita na kasi, di ba, yung demo? Pero para malista ko lang, ano yung eight exercises na kasama? 
Okay, sige. Uh, ako na lang kasi si Aldo alam ni Janet baka for sequence uh, uh, sorry. Square jumps. Okay, na dinemo ni Christine Haliasgo. And then after that si uh, yung uh, Running Highness, stationary Running Highness ni KK. And then uh, the the third is uh, the sit up modified uh, throw ni uh, Morrison. Morrison. <laughs> And then Morrison. the fourth is uh, Natalie. Natalie Uy. Star jumps. Okay, star, star jumps. Jump. So kung makikita natin yung mga movement, it's a basic pattern movement. Pero utilizing the different, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, access of the body. Kasi hindi pwedeng puro, puro uh, uh, squats lang o puro side bends. Kailangan may twisting then. So on the twist, uh, on the, uh, after that, Si uh, Clinton, no? Clinton Bautista. Clinton. The front yes. lunge twist. So, may mm -hmm. twisting. Kaya, ma actually, hindi lang athletics na makikinabang dito. Makikinabang dito lahat ng sport eh. Kasi after all the part kids have participated, they have primed up already their body. They can, like, do whatever possible activity or sport that they mm -hmm. want to do. Okay? Whether it's karate, taekwondo, badminton, volleyball, basketball, they are already parang conditioned eh. But of course, we would really want for if most of them would go to athletics. So after that, uh, front uh, front lunges. Uh, anong sila the Janet? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe Edward. Let me just add. Let, let, let yes, sir. me just uh -huh. add. Maybe that's why the athletics is always called the foundation of all sports, because right then and there, uh, you saw the you saw the basics. Now those are the same exercises. Some of them which uh, we do when you are under therapy uh, mm. from, let's say, from surgery and all of that. I saw them, I said, I do that, but of course, not in that same degree of uh, efficiency, you know? So anyway, that's just to highlight the fact. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because we, we, we have to make sure that the kids can mm. do it. Eh. Hindi, hindi ta, dapat too complicated, but not necessarily boring for them. So, after the front lunge, uh, what is... Uh, si Aris. Si Aris, Aris Toledo. Uh, modified push-ups. Okay? So, we thought of like doing, instead of that, the actual push-up, modified push-up. Kasi, normally, Kaya mga bata... leg. Oh, mga bata, mm -hmm. kasi, ano eh, medyo hindi pa malakas yung upper body strength nila eh. So, mm -hmm. we, designed, we decided to do it like modified para, para mas madali nila ma-perform. And then, after that, si... Kalano. Si Melvin Calano, the sumo squat jump. Kita nyo maraming talon-talon kasi it's uh, basically it has, you have to engage your uh, uh, pelvic area eh, uh, with any sport. And the, the legs forms a, a, a major part of that uh, execution. And then lastly, si, Sarah, the si quick Sarah feet. Dikinan, the quick feet. Of course, we have to make sure, we emphasize that it, it's a test of speed. So kaya pinanguli namin yung mga uh, it's uh, the, the quick fit or the some, you, you would know, I think uh, in, in basketball training and conditioning, the ratatats, ginagawa yun ng mga, na mga, na, na mga basketball players when they do conditioning training. It's actually to improve uh, like, uh, uh, the speed of the ankle to hit the ground. So, yun. So, essentially. Anyway, we will give you a copy of the, ano, of the event brief and the, uh, uh, press write up so you will be able to uh, cross reference your notes. But if you have any more questions, see Randy. Sir Randy. Oh, I see uh, Christelle. Christelle. Uh, Sir Edward, yes. um, how long would this, uh, ano, yung project na to? Parang every week ba siya? Yes. yes. Until, yes. mga ilang weeks to, Sir? Well, 12 weeks, sabi ni Sir Popo, yeah. So, 12 weeks. So, beginning November 27 up to February 26. February 26 is the finals. And the last uh, weekly uh, uh, final would be February 26, 19. February 12. Kasi may one week break. Tapos yung finals. Uh, para makapagpahinga yung mga finalists. 12 finalists. And then after the, the, this first phase, in second phase naman, is the kids at yung kids at activities na yun to may mga implement and most likely we would have like the a team competition na by that time because we are anticipating by that time na uh, baka nakabalik na tayo sa nakapunta na tayo sa new normal hopefully yes sabong uh, yung mga yung mga 
ano ang determine or criteria for judging not only the number of repetitions but also the proper execution yes so in the in the uh, protocol or in the uh, guideline for uh, the, the doing the activities and doon naka-specify yung mechanics ng uh, TV. aside from the fact that they would watch the demo video so para okay. meron silang visual so pata- yung mga pataw officials din magda-judge yes. kasama si Sir Lester uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, so busy. No, I mean, she, si, uh, Mam Janet, ako, and then another, another part of the patapatin. Oh. We want to, because it's hard to bilangin in steps. Eh. Oh, so, good oh, thing oh. it's a video. We could stop and play that. So, oh. so yeah. Pabiru lang ha. Patatawanin ko lang kayo. May, may National Kids Athletics Online. Dapat kami ni Sir Popoy yung mga 50 and up, 60 and up. Dapat meron ding ano. May kategory din ganyan. Biro masters. <laughs> masters yun. Ha? Masters. masters. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sir Lester, meron pa bang ano, yung Milo, uh, Milo Nutri-Up? The, that variant? Yun, At the sa... moment, ano, medyo muna. high low muna. Oh, okay. Kasi priority yung skeletal din kasi <laughs> yung factory. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> skeletal yes, meron pa. <laughs> Skeletal naman itong mga sasali. <laughs> so, yeah, any more questions? Kung ano, and then we will send you the, ano, the press write-up and the event brief. Uh, that's uh, detailed, uh, discussing in detail the, uh, the whole project and how, the, how uh, interested the children to, could uh, participate together with, of course, their, their, their parent or legal guardian. Any more uh, question before we wrap up? I think uh, everybody everybody's already uh, 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 excited to see the uh, initial set of winners, and we are uh, actually we are really excited because uh, by asiguro Friday we'll know the the winners. By, by Saturday we'll we'll already publish and upload the first set of the montage of the, the videos submitted to us. Parang ganto, Parang nakatile na Zoom. Uh, all the participants are doing this thing. Uh, and they will upload it in our different uh, uh, social media plat- uh, channels para to encourage all the other kids as well. And we hope you will help us to... Because it, uh, aside from the fact that we're very proud uh, that it's a Patafa Milo partnership project, we are all really, really excited with the fact that we feel that this is a, a, our humble contribution service to the country. Because it would help the address uh, the, the, the need of our school children for a meaningful physical activity. Ayun ang isa sa nawala sa online, ano eh, online education natin, eh, ibang physical activity. So hopefully this would be able to fill in, in a way, uh, the gap uh, created by this uh, challenge that we have right now. Okay, so uh, if you have, uh, we don't have any more questions, we'd like to thank everyone uh, for joining us for this uh, virtual press launch. Uh, Sir Popoy, thank you so much. Uh, Sir okay. Lester. Uh, Ma'am Janet and um, our other colleagues in the Patava Tintin, Maricor, and of course our friends, uh, our friendly friends from the Philippine Sports Writers Association. Marami salamat, despite the fact that it's a, a Friday night, you're supposed to be uh, lounging and uh, relaxing in our respective homes. Hindi sa mga bar You still gave us uh, your precious time. Marami salamat po. And we hope uh, you'll be able to uh, spread the word to so that the the kids, uh, Filipino kids, will be able to get to, get to know about this. And who knows? With this one, uh, this would be one of the reasons on how we'll be able to usher in and produce the new set of uh, future uh, athletic stars that would uh, follow the steps of the stars that we have right now, especially uh, the legends. Sina Lidia De Vega, El Mamuros, uh, Isidro Del Prado, and the likes. Para and ngayon ulit yung email, ano? Yeah, email nyo nyo, where to register? Uh, email, sa, sa Patafa website. Uh, website. Philathletics.org. 
kayo. It, the the, the uh, registration, online registration form will be available by Monday. All right. Monday morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we'd also come up with a, we, we, we publish it in our Facebook uh, page, yung announcement, uh, an infographic mm -hmm. announcement para mas madaling maintindihan. Thank you so much uh, for thank joining Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you sir. And, thank you, sir. Uh, we hope thank you. you have a good night. Good Friday thank night. You. Happy weekend, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Bong. Thank yes. you, Mark. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you, you. sir, Lester. May utang pa sa iyo. Lester. We hope you have received the gift of Milo. Ah. Thank you. May, may paparating pa daw yes, sabi ni Sir Lester. Yes, thank you sa Milo. <laughs> thank you sa patapa. Thank you. Thank you po. Thank, thank you, you po. sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Screenshot. Check it out. Thank <laughs> you.